Welcome back, you guys. My name is Abel from Valley Shenanigans. We're out here today at, at the SJR. That's the San Joaquin River, you guys. We're out here today with some customers. We, we came out and uh, we brought two customers out here today on a guided kayak trip here. It gets super shallow over there, huh? You see that? It's crazy, huh? Yeah, and that's why these these fish stay right here, bro, because it's just a drop off right here. I can't even see the bottom right here. <laughs> it's probably like 10 feet. Whenever you guys see pieces of wood sticking out of the water, like that one right here to my right, cast at it, cast your worm at it. There's usually fish next to that wood. There's usually, for the most part, there's a fish there. Look, right underneath me, it's probably five feet of water. There's a tree right here falling down. The tips of the branches are where my kayaks are right here. So guaranteed, if you if you were to throw your crank like right here and work it that way, if, if there's a fish, there's, you're gonna get it. I hear a boat. Come off to the side, brother. Everybody to the bank. Oh, he went straight. It's all right. He's gonna come back this way because there's no there's no outlet out there. It's a dead end. Go over here. <laughs> and we just got here probably ten minutes ago, maybe. How about you guys? I just got here. Oh, okay, same. <laughs> you guys uh coming from way down there or what? Actually, yeah, no, I lodged from a friend of mine's uh, property. Oh, okay, not too far then? Yeah. That's great, man. Gotta get through. You need help? Nah, ah, hopefully. I just gotta get over this high spot right here. Let's see if we can pull forward, Scotty. Right. Yeah, because I bought them out here on my kayak, man. Woo! <laughs> This is how trips become fun. <laughs> Let me give you guys a hand, man. You guys are you're gonna try to push it right there? Yeah, into this area. Hang on a minute, let me help you out. A little more. See, I'm in the deeper water right there. Alright, let's go back there and push, I guess. Damn. And this and this boat's rigged to fucking being shallow as water. Yeah, it was because I fucking bought it out. God damn. God damn. You guys are good there? I think we can make it from there. I mean I can help you push it out of the sandbar, man. <sighs> but I think you're good there. Yeah, I think too. Woo! The water's cool. It's fucking cold, man. Scotty, go and hop in. I think we'll be alright. I, I like I, I like your rig though, man. Thanks, bro. Nice. Yeah, me and my partner built it. Awesome, dude. Woo! Come on, it's cold. It's fucking freezing, dude. <laughs> Man, you guys are savages. I would have taken out my boots and shit. I would be like, I gotta get my feet dry after this. Yeah, I'll be dry here in a minute. Wrong side. Other side. Other side. Other side. Hang on. There you go. <laughs> Oh yeah. Good luck you guys. Get it up there. Get up on your kayak. Woo! First one. Oh yeah. That green one, huh? 
Oh, I'm gonna have to. I got some more for for Domingo. That color is it right there. That color is it. Yeah, that color is it. I got you, bro. I've seen people they put their teeth in there. Yeah, you could just grab it from the bottom lip. Just grab it. It won't bite you. It don't got teeth. Think it out that way or what? I don't want to hurt the little fella. Just like this. You want me to get a picture with you? Yeah, okay. yeah. I'll send it. Yeah. First fish of the day right there. Thank That's you, bro. right, brother. Appreciate I'm you. happy, bro. I'm glad you got something right now, man. <laughs> Look at the beautiful pattern even on the back, bro. Yeah, it's fucking shiny. You see that pattern even on the on yeah. its back? What is this? A spotted? Spotted bass, yeah. Alright, little fella. Thank you for playing the game. Beautiful, dude. Let me go give <laughs> let me go give Domingo some of those uh Here. some of those worms. It was that green no, one. No, no, no. Keep oh, those. Keep those. It? Keep those. Yeah. Keep those right there. I got to give them some of those green ones. If... So far, one of the customers landed a, a nice, beautiful spotted bass on a wacky worm. It was that watermelon green uh, color. We're out here today with, with Farrell and Domingo out here. What do you guys think of so far? You guys, you guys uh, having fun? How, dude, how, how do you guys great. like it? Great. First time on a kayak. Easy peasy. Nice. I love it, dude. Heck yeah. What about you over there, brother? Man, it's a cool experience. I like it. It's a, the scenery is amazing. Definitely, man. I know that the, over the past couple of weeks, this water clarity here has gotten a lot better in the river. We've been uh, consistently catching fish out here for the last couple of weeks. If you guys are familiar with the channel, you guys know we've been smacking them on our lucky jerk bait out here and that wacky worm. But let's see what happens, you guys. Stay tuned. Check out how clear this water is, you guys. Oh yeah, our second angler here just got his first fish of the day. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. First fish right there, huh? Dude, on that worm? Yeah, on the wacky jig. Nice. That green green color or what? <laughs> Which one? Yeah, the green. The green one? Yeah. Dude, they love that color, bro. I'm telling you. Beautiful. And <laughs> nice. <laughs> Just like you said, how you went over there. Yeah, dude. Right there, bro, you catch another one right there in that area. That that, that place right there has a holds a few fish. That's right, brother. Oh, snap. You're on the trip right now? Yeah, I'm on the trip right now. I'm with the customers. Oh, oh okay. Do, do your thing, bro. My bad. I just wanted to holler real quick, bro. All right, brother. I'll call you back later on tonight or something, bro. We'll talk later. I got to I gotta go uh, go uh, check this uh, fish out here. You just caught. All right, man. Congratulations, bro. Do your thing. Be safe out there, okay? All Thank right. you. Thank you, brother. All no right. No problem. Bye. All right. Angler just caught another another fish here. This one's with the jerk bait. That was with the jerk bait? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, dude, that jerk bait never fails, man. I'm glad you got one with the jerk, bro. I'm glad you were committed to that one, man. I, I got you, I'll help you, bro. Because this one will can hook you, bro. It has all kinds of crazy hooks on it. Oh, oh yeah, just let that fucker fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Yeah, fuck that. You don't want to get hooked, man. Swing it to me. So basically, like, look, yeah, look, I'm going to take control of him by touching the lure. Oh, okay. Now, even if he fights, I got the lure in my hand. He's, he ain't going to move the lure. Once I have the lure in my hand, like this, just grip him right here. Hard. Hard. Not, not super hard because then you get slippery. You could take the hooks out. Oh man, I have, I have pliers. I think I'm gonna need the pliers for this one. What kind? Just regular. Yeah, regular pliers. Oh, hold on. Can you just throw them right here if you can? Ooh, that's risky. Thanks, man. Yeah, 
biscuit, another biscuit. That is very true. All right. Oh, right underneath that tree. Right there? Yeah. Dude, I, I worked that I worked that tree earlier. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> it's there, the, man. With the, with the fucking look, look. I was using the crank. Yeah, you used the crank. Dude, that that's little one better, hitting. though. Look at that. See right there. Damn. There's your fish, brother. Nice. Fuck yeah. I worked that I worked that tree too, man, and I didn't get shit. I'm telling see that look, I was throwing a crankbait, you threw a jerk and they went yeah. for your jerk. They fucking love the jerk, man. I was just letting it just chill for a little bit. Fuck yeah, dude, on the trout pattern jerk. Hey guys, quick update here. It's a, we've been on the water for a little bit over five hours. You know, we were just working our way back to the car and uh our our angler here got a second fish of the day. Pretty good man. He got it on that jerk bait. It's like perseverance always pays off, you guys. You could throw that jerk bait in the morning at the same spot, literally where he caught that fish. I had just thrown a crankbait earlier, probably three hours ago. He comes back around a little later in the day, throws that jerk, and he lands a fish, man. And that's how it is. Sometimes you know that a certain spot holds fish. However, the bite window is not there. If you see fish, if you get a follow-up, take a mental note of that area and come back later in the day. All right, you guys, we're gonna call it a day now. We made it back to the car here. It was a great day, great day out here today in the water. Anglers were both able to catch some fish. And let me t let me let me give them a, a chance to tell you what, about their experience. Man, the experience was really awesome. I really like the kayak. My first time being on the kayak actually, and I caught two fish today. So you know, I feel great. You know? <laughs> yes, sir, man. What do you think, bro? Ten out of ten, bro. Check it out. Valley shenanigans hooked us up. Appreciate you, man. Fish. Awesome. Well, it was a good thing, you know, we were able to out here and come and have a plan, execute that plan. It's always more rewarding when we're able to come out here and catch some fish. It makes me very happy when I'm able to bring customers out here and they're able to actually land fish. Because at the end of the day, you know, I can't guarantee you guys will catch fish. But like I've said before, I'll put you in a good position to increase your chances. Anyways, you guys, smash that like button. Feel free to comment below if you guys have any questions comment below. I do reply to every comment. Peace.